chicken and some shrimp going. Can't do the pink steak, but you know, some sausages and some more chicken and some shrimp going up in here. I'm about to sit down and answer these comments with you guys. Let me get some Hennessy. YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, TKK, and we are back with another video, man. Listen, the uh, contrast of the recording might be off a little bit because I'm outdoors, but I'm going to sit out here next to this grill. We're about to indulge in a little bit of uh, beverage. I ain't going to show no logos, but I'm a pure white Hennessy guy. I like that with a little bit of um, apple juice. This is actually a uh, white uh, grape to be specific, but mix that up. I'm telling you, man, it's very enjoyable. So let me get right to it. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys comment because it leads to further engagement. Um, it's Sunday. I just got off of work not too long ago. Came home, got the house in order, started cooking. And I had planned on cutting my grass, but I'm going to utilize this remainder of the daytime, the daylight to make this content with you guys. So it should be Monday that you're seeing this. Um, probably going to upload it at 12, 12.01 a.m. to be specific. We had some great engagement on the uh, prior video. Um, the prior video was about the TV shootout. Hold on, let me, let me pour the potion. Let me pour the potion. There we go. That's the mix. It's the TV shootout that Vincent did on HD TV test. Um, he did that and he had a panel of professional experts. This looks so pretty, bruh. <laughs> the pure white with the white. You can't tell what the mix is. Oh, man. All right, let me get it together. So I do appreciate you guys commenting so much on that video. We got some great engagement and it seems like there wasn't as much slander one brand versus the next. Um, so I want to really open up talking about why I feel like so many people hate Sony. Um, and I, I think it's like more like a deep rooted issue. It just seems like I don't know. It seemed like it wasn't too long ago that people were actually trying to tell me that I was against Sony or didn't like Sony. Um, you know, my channel has existed for a long time, but it's only been like a little. It's only been like almost two years that I've been putting the work in and about a year since I've really been putting this kind of work in to gain the momentum that I've developed. Um, and I recall specifically having people ask me if I was against Sony, if I didn't like Sony or whatnot. And probably because I, you know, I didn't put in as much effort into having content that would um, showcase an appreciation or a desire or respect for Sony uh, when it comes down to them uh, making televisions. Um, you know, I'm a gamer. I've said that avidly. I mean, if you look at some of the stuff I got on the channel, dude, I got arcade cabinets and stuff. So me, I'm going to chase what I feel to believe um, to be the lowest input latency um, with the comfortable medium of, you know, quality of build and quality of just, let's say, overall construct. That could be visuals, that could be, you know, physical aesthetics. But let me engage into some of these comments because I think we have some great dialogue. This comment was left by HDTV00. He actually left this an hour ago as of right now while I'm recording this. And his comment went on to say, I went with 83 inch C1 for $3,000 at that price probably be forever before I could afford anything higher in the net. Listen, one thing that I notice a lot and that I really appreciate and I respect, um, and I like, to, I like to hope that I have some involvement with this, but if not, it's okay, because it's a beautiful thing. Here's some crazy ducks behind me. I feel like I should let one of my German shepherds out just to get them away from me. But, um, so brother, I have the C1 in uh, 77. You have it in 83. I'm a little bit envious to you. Good job. Congrats on picking that up because it's definitely a great TV. Um, what I will say, though, is that I love the consistency that I'm seeing in people talking about affordability. At the end of the day, you kind of have to buy what you can afford. You know, and if, if you would buy a TV that you can't afford and allow yourself to go hungry, starving or whatever, put yourself in a bad financial situation just for you to have a TV, then you seriously 
have to get some things together. Now, I know there's people that have gambling problems and, you know, habits of spending money on a lot of different things. But I respect the fact that you put that out there. Um, I think people might fail to realize that some YouTubers and I'm going to put myself in that in that uh, circle of some, you know, it's strategic when I'm buying stuff. You know, I've, I've listen, I've already calculated the risks. And I've saved up the money and I put myself in a position where me buying it is not going to hurt me or my family or my household. There's a certain level of quality of life that I'm not willing to go down under. And I definitely am not going to let a TV take me now. So thank you for sharing the TV that you picked All right, up. This brother. is from Paul Butchard. Excuse me if I'm uh, pronouncing the last name uh, incorrectly, Paul. But I did respond to you in this comment. Um, his comment went on to say uh, the motion on the A95K is either blurry or the worst stutter I've ever seen. Sam from himself. He said literally the worst motion I've ever seen on a Sony. He said my A8H and A8G are significantly better. He said for that reason, the S95B would be the best TV this year. The image is nearly identical and you can get the same or better um, uh, smoother, you know, picture and motion. Um, and so I did I did leave an elaborate comment. This was left on the video from yesterday as my son. This was left on the video from yesterday. Uh, Paul, I do appreciate you. Um, you know, you did go on to reply to my comment, but I want to I want to put this on video and saying that, um, like I said in my comment, I totally disagree with the the notion. Maybe you got a bad unit or um, maybe you're just seeing something that is is just not settling well with you. Um, I find the motion on the S95B and listen, I want to be clear. I've said this before uh, yesterday's video because, you know, every a lot of people might try to um, tarnish the integrity of others because of what was just shown or what professionals said. Uh, motion on the S95B, uh, motion on the Alpha 95 King are in the same household, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Um, I bought S95B day one. I bought it when it was, you know, the retail cost the original retail cost in the 55 and I had to go through a couple of panels uh, because I had physical bins in my TV that I just was not willing to accept for the price point that I paid. Uh, that aside, I have enjoyed the TV and thought the motion was pretty good on it. Also with me getting the A95K, that was one of the things that I looked into and I've never personally had any problems exhibiting um, motion issues. Um, utilizing it for the same means of content, watching video game playing and things of that sort. It's been enjoyable for me. Um, so I like to hear from other people, like, what do you guys think about that? You know, um, I, I'm glad that I got to see the kind of judgment that I've seen in the video, because honestly, it does it does add some integrity to the things that I have been saying prior to such a video like that being put together. But again, Paul, I do appreciate your comment, brother. This is a great comment, one that I, I actually admire. Uh, this is from Helvetica Bold One, like number one. Uh, he starts or she starts by saying S95B has DTM on top of HGIG. So if you don't care about accuracy, um, it's your TV. He said, Vincent is all about accuracy. He said the G2 has the best gaming features, HGIG without DTM. A95K is made for movie and TV watching. Again, Vincent has stated this several times. PS5 auto tone mapping works incorrectly on the A95K. That's a very good comment. Um, I like the the context in which you know you don't seem like you're attacking and you're stating your facts and your truths um, and backing it up with a reputable source saying a similar thing. Um, you know, I, I, I honestly I wanted to read your comment because I just wanted to see what others thought. So. If you're listening to this at this point, let me know what you think about that comment. Um, I did heart and like your comment, but I didn't want to I didn't want to engage in responding to it. Not that I had any problem with it, but I just thought that it would be nice to bring it to the forum. So let me know if you got anything to say about this comment. Thank right, you this comment me. was left by Happy295. He asked me, would you recommend the A90 King or C2 for PC and PS5 gaming. I would absolutely, and I responded to you, brother, but I would absolutely unequivocally, without a doubt, recommend the C2 over the A90K um, all day when it comes down to the space of knowing that you are gaming. Um, it is because you specify PC and PS5 gaming that I would do so. Now, does the A90K look better? Yes, it does. It looks better, in my opinion. And to go a little bit further, if we're talking about in the 48 or 42, class i would definitely recommend the a90k over the c2 um so much as to say that it depends on the size that you're going after 
there isn't enough about the C2 and its gaming features and its input latency that would make me recommend it in those sizes over the A90K. However, if we are looking to compare and get a C2 and 55 like I do, because the price of that is going to be more comparable to the 48 of the A90K, then I would definitely recommend the C2. Uh, not only would you get a larger panel, size matters. The bigger TV is the better TV, 100%. That's number one. Number two, the brightness. The TV is going to be brighter. It is. Um, and then number three, the collective package of what it offers you in that space as a gaming panel, monitor, TV, whatever you may want to call it, is why I would definitely say the C2. So hopefully that helps you out. Mr. William Robson said, unbiased blind test alone would have been sick, but also with the mastered sample monitor in the middle was a great idea. So they have the best to compare from them as well. He said, also with a paid professional calibrator to calibrate every TV versus him. Doing it himself was just another level of unbiased as well. He said, I got the Sony A90K 42 for gaming. Pretty much happy with that since it's my first OLED ever. Congratulations, sir, on that being your first OLED. Uh, it's a magnificent TV. Um, I am hearing that the 42 is the exact same panel as my 48, which means that you've got to be enjoying it. Um, I don't think there is, you know, such a thing as like, you know, the pixels looking tighter on the 42 versus the 48. Um, I do believe that they're very close and with them both being a master series TV out the box. I know what my A90K looks like. It's a great TV and probably in another week or two, I'll be bringing it back to the channel. I'll get it into rotation um, as I do get the new Ryzen processor uh, system build. Once I get that 4090, you're going to start seeing a lot more uh, G8 from the monitor 4K 240 hertz. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot more of the A90K. Um, as it stands for the two computer build upgrades that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be featuring those two panels a lot. So I just wanted to point out your comment because I did enjoy it, actually. Thank All right, you. Mr. Darren Holmes. This is my guy. He's a regular commenter. I do appreciate you guys when you leave comments. He says, cover up the TVs. Don't cover up the TVs. The 895 King has now won two-time TV shootouts. Vincent should be trusted and respected for what he brings to the AV community. Nobody else does what he does, and it is true. It's a fact, 100%, no cap. He goes on to say gaming and price has nothing to do with it. The TV just won a blind test for a television for watching content. Man, is speaking the gospel. He said, if we talk about the best cars and the best sports athlete, athletes, uh, when does price become a factor? Question mark. He goes on to say, you get what you pay for. He said, I don't own the 895 King and I can't afford it. He said, I have the C1, which for me is VFM. I'm not sure. The VFM is great is what he said. I'm sorry. He said people buy what they can afford and what they deem to be the best for their needs, but denying the Alpha 95 King to be the best is just wrong. Respect and peace to all, whatever TV you may have. Man, listen, I appreciate that type of comment. I like that type of conversation when it comes from people. Um, you know, I'm going to end this, specific, this specific video. I'm getting tongue tied because of the Henny. Um, based on the fact that, you know, that's a respectable comment and that's really what i want to leave it on you can absolutely speak speak your truth but understanding that you know it doesn't have to come at the mercy of you downing somebody right so i see a lot of these comments where people you know speaking their truth and they're doing it in such a way where they're trying to manipulate the facts right i've seen a ton of people tear down the sony for whatever reason i have no idea like you got nothing coming by breaking down the sony nothing absolutely nothing coming um, you can be like me. You, I got an A90J last year, didn't even post it on YouTube. You understand what I'm saying? So if it's not in your rotation, that's something that catches your interest. It's totally okay for you to ignore it and for you to just set it to the side as something that exists, right? Um, outside of that, you know, all of these TVs have different use cases. And so again, I get a lot of people that question me why I buy so many panels. I do not buy TVs to review. I do have a higher frequency in which I do upgrade TVs and monitors you guys got to understand dude i've got monitors and tvs this year i've got the, the the morbius benq monitor i bought that when it i bought that months ago for the vulix cabinet that i'm currently doing a project building on right like i got the vulix cabinet a month or two months ago but i got the morbius uh monitor from benq several months ago put it on the channel haven't made another video since it's still sitting around it's used right so you have different use cases for all of these different panels and when you talk about a tv a tv keep it in mind people love to throw up this gaming now listen the s95b is 2022 where were we when the c2 was the, or the c the c9 hell c2 c1 c9 
2019, I was definitely there. Had that bad boy week one. It was an amazing TV. Great experience, right? You had a lot of people. What did you have at the time? PlayStation 4? The Xbox Scorpio? None of them had HDMI 2.1. We didn't even get that technology until a year and a half later, right? So where we get off with everybody judging these TVs based on like the input latency and things like that, I'm, I'm like, I can always distinguish when a person is kind of new on that bandwagon, which is totally fine because the literature and the facts are there for us all to utilize. But I don't understand why we must take the information that we get and use it to try to bash something else. At the end of the day, you buy what you like, you buy what you can afford, and you respect yourself for that decision. It's got nothing to do with what I get, what Vincent get, or what the next person get. I'm here telling you guys, I wouldn't personally buy that Panasonic and have it shipped over here because for what reason? I already like the C2 enough. I don't need the Panasonic. I got the quantum dials that I want. So it's the same thing. You have to make sure that you get whatever it is that you can afford and what you like and enjoy it. If you don't do that, you're going to be real bitter. I'm telling you, and that applies for everything in life. But listen, I appreciate you guys leaving comments. It gives us opportunity to have these type of videos. I want you to know that I do appreciate you leaving the comments, and that's why I make these type of videos. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless. Max love.